Hello there, so today I have something super exciting to share with you. My brand new self-balancing robot PCBs. These boards were designed in collaboration with a master's student that I'm supervising during his final year project. These PCBs are supposed to be universal, so you can use them in any robotics project and with no modification. And in this video, I'll take you through the entire process from designing the PCBs getting them manufactured by PCBWay, unboxing the package, and finally show off the mounted components. Also, stay tuned for future videos where I'll showcase the making of this Raspberry Pi based self-balancing robot with vision capabilities, controller driving, and eventually autonomous navigation. Also, make sure to support the channel by subscribing and clicking on the like button. Also, this video was sponsored by PCBWay more about them later in the video. So without any further ado, let's begin. The first step in creating a self-balancing robot was to design two different PCBs. The first PCB is the main board, which houses components like the Raspberry Pi Pico W, the MPU 6050IMU, and the L298N driver, the ultrasonic sensor and the camera module connector. The second PCB is specifically designed for manual tuning of the PID controller, featuring three variable resistors for adjusting the PID controller gains. The reason for making this PCB in the first place is that I'm planning for this robot to be used in educational purposes, ultimately to teach high schoolers and university students how to manually tune PID controllers. We used EasyEDA to design the PCBs because of its user-friendly interface and powerful features. We started by placing all the components, connecting the traces, and making everything is properly routed. After finalizing the design, we exported the Gerber files, which we needed to get the PCBs manufactured. Next step was sending the PCBs to manufacturing. I chose PCBWay as our manufacturing partner because of their competitive prices high quality products and fast manufacturing time. And then we uploaded the Gerber files to the official PCBWay website, chose the specifications we wanted and placed our order. And just like that, our PCBs were on the way. About 10 days later, I received my package from FedEx, but it should be noted that this can take shorter amount of time if you choose DHL instead. And now, here comes the moment we've all been waiting for, the unboxing. Let's see what's inside. Here they are, our custom-made self-balancing robot PCBs. From the first glance, I was impressed by the packaging. It was really safe, and I can use this box to store my PCBs later. The PCBs themselves look really good, the quality is fantastic, and the silk screen is clean and sharp. I couldn't be happier with how this turned out. Now that we have the PCBs, it's time to mount the components. Here a closer look at the main controller board with all the components mounted on top. As you can see here we have the Raspberry Pi Pico W, the MPU 6050, the L298N, the ultrasonic sensor and the connector for the camera module. We haven't received the camera module yet, but once we do I'll be sure to make a follow up video. Also in the next video I'll show you how to make a chassis for this robot. I hope you enjoyed the process as much as I did. Stay tuned for the future updates on this project, including driving, camera testing, AI integration, and more. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more awesome content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon in the next video.